Hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Um... y'all so in this video i picked up this little cargo pod for 30 bucks a little birthday gift to myself i'm gonna see if i can uh sand it uh color match the top of it to match the car i think i'll probably repaint the bottom back black but uh i'm gonna get started and uh we'll see how it turns out at the end So as y'all just saw, all I did was uh, scotch bright it with a little bit of degreaser and sprayed it off. And it actually came out very clean. Um, it's got some cracks in it, but uh, I'm not really going to use it. It's just mainly for looks, to be honest with you. But um, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to hit it with some paint. All right, it should be dry enough right now. I'm going to go ahead and start misting it with a couple coats of paint. So, uh, change of plans. I don't think I like this color. So, uh, we're going to try a different color. Box of 
destroy. So there y'all have it, a uh, cheap little pod setup. Like I said, I paid $30 for the pod, $60 for the roof rack bars, and about $10 in paint. So I'm all in $100 in this project. But um, everything wasn't too bad. It's just, I didn't record a lot of the roof process because I can't really hold the camera and try to hold some of these big components up there and get an angle on it. But um, it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory. The pod came with U-bolts, and you just slide a bolt up under the roof rack, and you twist the little U-bolt knobs that comes with it inside the pod. But uh, for the most part, I'm happy with it. A hundred dollar little setup. I probably won't use it too much. I really don't need it. But like I said, I like the look of it. And if I do need the space, I can always throw something up there. I trust it. But uh, getting ready to wash the car, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.